Good morning. It is a beautiful morning out here. Something I want to play with today is with the Nikon Z8's video. Due to its sensor size, it's a 45.7, I recall, uh, megapixel sensor size. Uh, what this means is to get a 4K video, you can actually go down to a 2.3x crop. So what we're going to do is do a 2.3x crop on video shooting 4K and that'll give us a effective focal length on this 500 mil of 1150 millimeters. Which is kind of a neat trick you can do uh, because there's always issues trying to get close enough to wildlife and that extra reach will be nice. But the only thing I'm concerned about is trying to get a I'm going to shoot handheld so we'll see if we can get it steady um, using the IBIS um, with the built-in vibration reduction in the lens. I've got to be honest though, I've been shooting with the Z8 for a while now and I never knew you could do this. This whole time I'm shooting this 500 mil I'm wishing I had more reach. All I had to do was put the crop factor on. And you can shoot it well, basically in a 1150 mil lens. I know some people are going to be sitting there going, duh, you idiot. How'd you not know that? One, I just started learning video. And two, let me have this moment, all right? I'm having fun. Okay. Correct me if I'm wrong, but whether you're shooting full frame 4K or crop 4K, you're getting the same image quality. So what's the downside? I guess I could go look it up, but I'd rather just play with it. So let's take some test shots. A little annoyed, but also excited. How did I not know about this before? It works pretty well. The only downside I can really see is when you do that 2.3x crop and put it in like 1150 mil effective range, it is a little shaky and hard to handhold. But other than that, that extra reach is super nice. So if there's anybody else out there that didn't know this, now you know. The more you know.